Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a look at evaluating real integrals using complex functions. So we're going to look at integrals from negative infinity to, to infinity of a polynomial p of x divided by another polynomial q of x dx. So the idea is to solve integrals of this type is we use complex functions. What we want to do is introduce an integral, a closed contour integral on some path c p of z on q of z dz and use complex integration. So let's have a look at this path of integration c that we're going to use. Okay, so here's my complex plane. And what we want to do is go from negative infinity on the real axis to positive infinity on the real axis, and then an arc enclosed in the top half of the complex plane. So we'll call this C1 and C2 and C is equal to C1 united with path C2. So this integral becomes the integral of C1 P of Z dz uh, on Q of Z dz plus the integral along the path C2 P of Z on Q of Z dz. Okay, so all we've done here is path partitioning. So along C1, we can see that, well remember z is always equal to x plus i y. Okay, and along C1, we're on the real axis, or you can clearly see that y is equal to 0 along C1. So therefore, the first integral becomes along C1, which is negative infinity to infinity along the x-axis, okay, of, well, z is now x plus 0i, so it just becomes p of x on q of x dx. That's the beauty of this formula. So the contour integral over here, p of z on q of z dz is equal to this integral which becomes the real integral we're trying to solve along the x-axis because y is equal to zero or along the real axis I should say but this integral is the one we have to investigate now so let's spend a moment looking at that so along the arc of radius r so we'll say this has radius r and what we want to do is take the limit as r goes to infinity. That way we would go on from negative infinity to positive infinity which is our requirement here. So r has to go to infinity. So let's have a look at this. So this would be, so this integral would be 0 to, we've got half the circle, pi, p of r e to the i t, okay, because it's an arc so we would parameterize z with uh, we would parameterize z with r e to the i t on the same thing q r e to the i t, but we also have to times by d z d t remember which would be r i e to the i t, so this would be multiplied by r e to the i t d t, okay. So what happens as we take the limit as r goes to infinity of this thing? Well, the only way the limit as r goes to infinity of this integral, 0 to pi p r e to the i t on q r e to the i t, r e to the i t dt approaches 0 if and only if if and only if we can see here that if the if and only if the degree of q of x is strictly greater than or equal to the degree of p of x oops p of x plus two okay because we've got if this is a polynomial of z the power of n and this is 
polynomial z to less than that. Well, this r, so we'd have r to the, so here we'd have r to the n minus 2, here we'd have r to the n order of, and if I multiply it by r, this will become r minus 1. Hence, the overall will be 1 on r times some integral dt. But as we take the limit as r goes to infinity, this term will go to 0, hence the whole integral will go to 0. So this is a necessary requirement. So if we have that the degree of the denominator is greater than or equal to the degree of the numerator plus 2, then along the arc, sorry, just having a bit of trouble here, along the arc C2, that integral will go to 0, and we're left with this result. And that's the result we need. Okay, so we need the integral from negative infinity to infinity of p of x on q of x dx, the thing we're trying to solve, is equivalent to the closed contour integral of the complex function divided by the other complex function dz, which is pretty, which is just equal to 2 pi i times the sum of the residues of the function of z, which is p of z on q of z, for all z k's, where k are all the singularities that are in the upper half of the plane. If we have singularities in the lower half of the plane, we don't need to worry about them. Okay, so that is the result, and we'll have a look at an example in the next video.